Hey folks, today I want to talk to you about Lyme's Lyme's and how to deal with it. So Lyme's comes about because you basically have a viral overload, and this is caused by your kidneys and lymphatic system not functioning properly. Essentially, your lymphatic system, which is your sewer system of your body, is stagnant; it's not moving, and this creates a culturing or medium for the viruses to thrive in. Normally, when you are healthy and you have a good lymphatic system and your kidneys are filtering, these viruses will pass right through you. But because of the food you're eating, because of the dairy products, because of the meats, because of all cooked foods, your lymphatic system and your kidneys are not functioning optimally. If you fix these two things, the viral load is released and it gets less and you, you will be healthy. Now, how do you get the lymphatic system moving? The lymphatic system, to begin with, is stagnant because, like I mentioned, the foods you eat and the acids of the foods you eat plus the acids of your 100 trillion cells are all collected by the lymphatic system and uh, pass through the kidneys. And if the kidneys are not functioning properly, the lymphatic system backs up. Just like how if, if you're at home and you flush the toilet and it's backed up, it will overflow. Likewise, if the cells are trying to get rid of waste and the lymphatic system is backed up, it's going to overflow and the acids are going to go back into the cells. And this causes pain and inflammation and acidos acidosis in the whole body, which means the entire body is acidic. It's literally burning inside. The kidneys are the only effective way to actually get rid of these acids. So we, we, we need to fix the kidneys. We need to get the kidneys working properly. And the way to do that is to avoid all those foods causing the problem and to eat fruits, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Fruits like melons, like grapes, oranges, have very high flavonoids and high astringent um, value, which means that when they go into the body, they pull uh, or soften up um, toxins and make the lymphatic system move flow. This easy flow, this breakup, will allow it then to pass through the kidneys easy and be eliminated. So the viruses in themselves are not bad. They're actually there doing their job. They are eating up the acids or telling the body that there's a problem in this area. So send immune soldiers or immune um, enzymes to deal with the broken cells. If they didn't do that, the cells will fester and, and boil up essentially and become a very severe problem. So the parasites are actually doing their job. They're just alerting you in a painful way and the body has to remove the dead cells and eliminate, eliminate them through the lymphatic system, through the kidneys. But because the kidneys are blocked and because the lymphatic system is not working properly, they can't eliminate. So this builds up and you get um, pains and viral overloads. So it's quite simple to regenerate and get yourself healthy again. The, the key is to s start eating the right foods to get your system working properly. And that's fruits, to eat, eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Raw fruits and vegetables it can be cooked. Because when you cook food, you are destroying the molecular uh, structure of the plant and you're making it into a gooey substance where the body cannot actually use. And it causes an obstruction in the body. So you, it's, it's a burden to the body. The body cannot handle it properly. You want foods that the body can handle easily that need, and the body actually needs. Because foods provide all the energy, the sugars, the amino acids, and all the minerals, flavonoids that the body needs. You give to that and the body becomes healthy. So this is basically how you deal with that situation. Um, and you can take herbs to help you, your kidneys work better. Uh, there are quite a few herbs out there that can help your kidneys and lymphatic system work um, more efficiently. So herbs combined with the right food is a good way to go to help you feel healthy and strong again. I hope this helped you. I hope you take charge of your health. I hope you, you educate yourself more and take action. And do not let anyone control you or tell you or put you in, in a fear mode about your health. You are in charge. You can do it yourself. And, and I believe in you.